Hey guys, what's going on? I appreciate you guys taking your time to stop by my channel. This is will be the second video breakdown I have done. I really enjoy doing these, so I hope you guys like it, and I hope you guys look forward to seeing some more. Please let me know in the comment or by email. You guys can follow me on Instagram at Nelson underscore Molina underscore JR, as well as subscribe to the channel. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, as I said, this is the second breakdown video I am doing. The music video of choice today was Lurch, Suicidal Letters. So if you have not seen that yet, please pause this video. Go watch the video and come back to this. Um, assuming you did so by now, let's get right into it. So the first topic I want to discuss is expectation versus reality. Um, now me and the artist had similar views. When we first spoke about the uh, when we first spoke about the idea and what we wanted to shoot, and we knew we wanted to shoot in a uh, parking lot setting, um, we wanted you know a huge. My initial thing was a huge, empty parking lot with a uh, you know bright spotty lights, um, and so let me show you as to what I was thinking of. So this is, you know, what I had envisioned, you know, um, empty parking lot, bright lights, car parked under the uh, the light right here, you know, giving it that nice overhead lighting, which would have lit the interior, some of the interior of the car, as well as the artists. Um, but as mentioned, you know, expectation versus reality, we did not get that. Um, now, this would have been a good thing and it would have been a bad thing because it's if you ever shot um, through a window, you know the challenges that come with it. You know, you got a lot of reflections as well as a lot of light bouncing back. Um, so I would have had to have flagged the window or use a polarizing filter to cut down on the glare. And, um, you know, obviously flagging the window would have taken additional time. Um, it would have taken additional time and, you know, it's not something I would have wanted did. So it was kind of good that we didn't get that type of uh that type of uh situation instead i chose to light the scene um separate so next i just kind of want to discuss the lighting for this video so as you can see by the reflections in the car here we have two led lit lights and they were gelled with blue roscoe gels now i'm not sure of the exact number as i always never write them down um but definitely I'll have descriptions to the gel pack I use listed in the, in the description below. Um, so that was that. And then we'll shoot down to the uh, interior. So in the interior, I mainly used a uh, Aperture Armin off-camera light. Um, and I gelled that with a red Roscoe gel. Um, we did move it to two locations as some of the shots were interior shots. Some of the, the shots were exterior shots. So as in this scene here, you could kind of see a little bit of a hot spotting happening here. We had the uh, aperture light, you know, kind of at a 45 degree angle putting up at the artist. And that was wedged in between the uh, shifter and uh, the center console there. So and then when we were doing the shots like this, um, it was inside the car. And actually, this blue light coming here, that's actually the two lights we had outside of the car as well, the, uh, the LEDs with the blue Roscoe gels. Um, so for this example, you can kind of see the hot spotting here and tell which direction the light is coming from. For this, I just taped the aperture light to the very top of the window and had the light coming in. And the... Uh, the glove box light here was just a cell phone light. Um, you know, it was pretty, it was kind of deep, so we just sl slid a, a cell phone in there and that lit up that little um, area. You could have easily used uh, any kind of LED light for this. I know Aperture has one, so I'll put that link to that light and all the other lights used in this video below. Um, so yeah, that's mainly it for lighting. Very simple, you know, this was a one location video. Um, do do do. So as you can see in these, as I'm going through these clips, 
So the next thing I want to discuss lighting wise is the the gun flash. So I'm just going to play this little clip so you could see this one little part. Okay, so that flash you see there, that was just a cannon off camera flash. And I know the 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 flash is a little exaggerated cuz not guns flashes are not normally like bright yellow, but uh we really wanted to you know, to showcase that and uh so that was that was a simple trick, you know, if you're lighting we didn't have the budget to do up close and personal, you know, with the having the slide rack back and, and all that stuff. Um, so this was the most cost efficient and effective way to do it. Um, that was just a Canon off camera flash with a Roscoe yellow gel on it. And I've actually had someone lay down in the back seat of the car. Um, I had someone laying down in the back seat of the car with the arm extended in between the center console where the both seats are and uh it just so happened we got it one shot and he just manually set it off and it worked um i could i don't know i could probably make a breakdown video of that if you guys are interested just to see that and this this sh that as well might work for any exterior shots maybe it might be a little hard because it's going to be more involved where you're going to have to mask out the person holding the flash and vice versa but i'll definitely test those two methods out and see how they work with each other and um see if those are you know cost effective uh ways of, of lighting gunshots um so moving along here i just want to talk about camera movement now this is due to the like the uh the tone and the feel of the song i felt you know it was unnecessary to do these crazy camera shakes and all kinds of stuff you gotta kind of remember um movement is important um just like it is in in movies and everything else movement is important you know if you have a high velocity crazy you know like fast paced song then yeah you might want camera shakes in this case the only camera shake i had was when he was uh when he was holding up the cell phone so this uh let me see if i could get it without so this view here was the only kind of jittery camera movement because it, you know the video it's representing him holding the cell phone and this is a video being recorded to the cell phone um i did have a dolly in in the beginning and a dolly out and i think that was it as far as like camera movement like i said this was a very simple video it didn't need too much um it didn't need much you know i, I think it worked for what what it was um so I don't think it needed some crazy camera movement and all this flashy, you know, I call what I call the steering wheel, which you see in most low budget rap videos. I, I didn't feel it needed that. Um, so, I mean, the only other thing left to really discuss is this scene here. And um, let me find it when, okay, oh, I went past it. So this scene here, this is a very simple trick. Um, it's basically two separate shots combined into one using a, a you know a mask. Um, this is fairly simple, guys. You know, as long as you have something on a tripod and you know you, your focal length is, is remain the same for both shots and uh, and your focus and everything, it's a very very simple thing to pull off, which could be done in Premiere or After Effects. Um, in this case, I chose to do it in After Effects, but uh, yeah, it's not not that hard. You know, it's as Again, you know, let me know if you want to see a video of me explaining that and how to do that. Um, again, it's really not that hard. Um, I mean, yeah, you know, this is, like I said, it was a very simple but clean video. And uh, I had a blast, you know, I had a blast doing this. And I'm glad I'm able to make this breakdown video and kind of review and, and let you guys know everything I did. So definitely, if you guys appreciate this video and you guys want to see more content like this, please let me know. Also, subscribe to the channel as I got a lot of great stuff happening. Um, and if you guys are definitely out there, you know, in the New Jersey, New York or Massachusetts area looking to get or Connecticut looking to get a video done, definitely contact me. Appreciate it, guys.